G'day guys, back again. Um, today we've got a special visitor here. We've got Craig from Iscar Tooling Australia. And uh, he's coming today to uh, show us a little bit, little bit about the ST10 CNC lathe up from Haas. And uh, the great thing about Iscar Craig is that he's also a trained uh, Haas technician previously before he went to Iscar. So Craig, welcome to Harvester Technical College. Thanks Aaron. Thanks for coming. Right. Tell us a little bit about your story. Yeah, so I, uh, I started off working for Haas uh, for many years. I went to America and did my training with, uh, with the automation industry there. Yep. Um, after a series of uh, different events, I've decided to change to ISCAR, and yeah, I'm here to, today to show you a bit of a run around on the machine. Fantastic. Uh, another reason why I use ISCAR tooling at the college, guys, is the support ISCAR give me. Um, Craig is my designated rep. He'll come out here at least once a week, once a fortnight. You know, if he's busy, it might be once a month. Uh, Craig will go through my tooling cupboard. He'll look at supplies. He'll, he'll actually check my stock supplies. Um, occasionally, even pull a tool out, make sure the tools are okay. Checks the longevity of the tools. Maybe now and then he might even check my coolant uh, condition. Now, this is above and beyond any other rep that uh, that I've ever known. So. People, a lot of people say, hey Aaron, why are you using ISCAR tools? That's why I use them. It's the support and that after sale service and you know, thank you ISCAR, Craig's a gun, so thank you for giving them to me. Alrighty Craig, what we'll do today, we might show this startup procedure on the yep. ST10 if that's okay. Not a problem. Right, so first we're going to power the machine on. So once the machine boots up, we'll... Uh, We'll home the machine and get ready to start running. So it's coming up and it's telling me on the screen what I need to do here. The door's closed. I can turn on my emergency stop off. Press reset. And now we want to do a power up restart. So when you press the power up restart button, the X axis will home first, then the Z axis will move. X is now home, Z's home, and the machine's ready to run now. We can freely move it around. So now we're going to set a couple of the tool offsets, just check them to make sure they're correct and then we'll machine apart. So we'll start by, so we go to MDI, Program Conversation, then we want to come across to the last one which is Probe, so we'll press End, Enter. We're going to automatically probe to 1, it's already got its offsets there, so now we'll flick across to the machine and watch the probing cycle. I'm now going to press the cycle start button and we'll watch the automatic probe cycle. Now for this exercise we've got the key in the door to just so we can see what's happening. So that's how simple it is to start up the Haas ST10 lathe and set a tool offset or check a tool offset. Well there we go viewers, I hope you've been learning something from uh, Iskar Craig. Uh, today we're going to run this cycle and you would have seen this before in one of my previous videos. And this is a little aluminium part for, that the students make for their soft face mallet. Now originally this was programmed through IPS which is the intuitive programming software from Haas. And uh, this was actually written for a TL1 lathe. Now the beauty about Haas programs is once you've written a program, whether you've post-processed it, written yourself, or done it on the IPS, you can run it in any Haas machine. However, as long as your tools are in the same spot, otherwise you need to edit the program to do that. So Craig is going to set this part up now. The beauty about the ST10 is, hey, no hands required. It's got a hydraulic chuck. How fancy is that? Awesome stuff. So I'm going to hand back over to Craig and we're going to watch this part being made. So now we're going to call up the program and we'll run this cycle. So first we go to list programs. We're on spindle warm up so we want to choose our alloy soft face hammer. Select the program, press our memory button and we're ready to run. Now at the start of my program it's telling me we need to hang the part out 120 millimeters from the chuck face. I'll do that now and you'll see me back in a second. So now we can shut the door and press cycle start. Okay.
there you have it guys. Um, sorry you couldn't see much with the coolant splashing everywhere. I probably should have had my GoPro inside the machine, but I just don't have a second mount for my GoPro. I used my last one in the uh, Super Mini Mill. But look, you can see what it made. It's quite simple. Uh, the cycle time on that was 1 minute 55 seconds. Yes, I understand you can speed that up, no problem at all. But uh, like I said, guys, I don't expect to make money on this. This is a training machine. Uh, second of all, it's very important that you use the correct material. So on this job, we actually use free machining alloy. And uh, you can see you know, it leaves a nice, beautiful chip. Alrighty, guys, thanks for watching. And I hope you learned something today. And uh, yeah, tune in next time. Thank you.